My name is Chris Dunn. I'm from Eden Prairie, Minnesota. 1992, I was on a motorcycle just running errands. I got struck by a car that came into my lane and my foot and lower leg were crushed between the car and the bike. Uh, I immediately spent about 30 days in the hospital and then the next 18 years going through surgery after surgery, daily pain, uh, the whole nine yards. I started doing research and uh, YouTube and Wiggle Your Toes website and videos of people doing all kinds of activities. I realized that through amputation, as drastic as it sounds, I'd be able to get back to that adventure side of things. Being introduced back into skiing again was a big leap forward for me. When I had the amputation and I essentially went from a pain-filled existence to a relatively pain-free existence and new levels of performance from my prosthetic limb, I was just out doing everything. I was biking, I, I went on the I went on the winter challenge trip that Wiggle sent me on and then I came back and I joined a, a, the Courage Center Alpine program and ended, ended up racing. And through that program, I was invited to some Paralympic development program races. So by the time my first year as an amputee had wrapped up, I had like five weeks of skiing under my belt. Now having gone through this, the one thing I always think about and talk to other amputees about is that there's no there's no owner's manual for being an amputee there's no amputee owner's manual and that was the biggest aspect is just being able to talk to somebody else that had gone through it what is life like when you're living you know through the daily issues of being an amputee I try not to to look backwards I try to always look forward but if I could have talked to another amputee you know, 10 years prior, I think about how much further ahead would I have been or how much extra um, adventuring could I have gotten done in 10 years had I known about a group like that, and I think that's why spreading the word is so important.